In today's video, we're going to revive the career of Eden Hazard and make him one of the best players in football once again. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm not going to lie. Hazard's been one of the most unlucky footballers on the planet for the last few years. He was unbelievable at Chelsea, made the move to Real Madrid and injuries kind of ruined everything for him. And that's why we're here to, you know, revive his career. First, let's try and score this penalty with Eden Hazard. All right. All right. Where do I go? I'm going top right. I'm going top right. Let's put this one right in. Oh, perfect penalty from Hazard. Looks like that's a good omen for the video. Fantastic. Here's what I've done, guys. I've basically rewinded the clock and made Hazard 27 years old. This was when he was at his prime at Chelsea. He even had a 91 overall. He was even the cover star for FIFA, if I'm not wrong. So we've given him all those stats from like three, four seasons ago. Now what we're going to do is we're going to beat Chelsea, sign him, and then play his career again, basically. For five seasons, we've got to, you know, revive Eden Hazard's career make different choices and see what happens first thing we're with chelsea right now so the objective now is to basically sign eden hazard this should be easy because when i was editing hazard's age and overall he had a release clause on him of 98 million but his value is now 165 so we are literally making a mockery out of real madrid i'm just gonna pay that release clause and get hazard for super cheap i'm not gonna lie i really wish hazard joins chelsea he was such a joy to watch at chelsea like honestly the the level he had i think yeah it was it was literally him and Kevin De Bruyne in a completely different league. So I'm, I'm really hoping that, you know, we see Chelsea sign Hazard. It, it'd be great vibes. Oh, look at that contract. He wants an 8.4 million dollar goal bonus. We'll accept it. I want to see how many he scores back at Chelsea. There you go. Eden Hazard playing in Thomas Tuchel's five at the back system. Very interested to see how that works. Not gonna lie, this Chelsea team that Hazard's gonna play in is a bit cracked. Like, I'm expecting Hazard to lead this team to the Premier League trophy. We're playing his career again from back at Chelsea. I think we'll stay here for a couple of seasons, just get back on track, and then move somewhere else. That's the play. Hazard back at Chelsea. It's now time to revive his career and put some incredible stats on board. Cheeky coffee break before we begin the simulations. This is good coffee. Stamp for season one. We're going to stay at Chelsea for sure. I want to see what Hazard can do in this Chelsea team. We're also allowed to make one signing every season. That's what we do to spice this up. And I'm thinking, since Christensen's 82 rated, how much money do we have? Only 36 million. Let's see if we can do like a swap deal or something and bring in a better centre-back. What are good options, man, for that centre-back position? Alaba is one that I like. Yo, I like this. What if we do a swap deal um, between Alaba and Christensen or something like that. Let's see if that works because from what I know, Christensen is linked with a move to Barcelona and many other clubs. So we can get this done. I think it's a pretty smart move. We'll offer them like six, seven million as well. Um, Alaba's 85 rated. That's the only reason I'm willing to do this. I don't know why. It just, it just popped in my head. We, we've brought, we've brought um, Hazard from Real Madrid. So why not Alaba as well? So let's reduce this down to 20 million. I think Carlo Ancelotti is asking way too much money. This is, this is, this works so much in their favor. But you know what? We've got the cash. We're allowed only one signing. Let's just freaking do it. There you go. David Alaba signed. So Hazard's got a bit of help from Real Madrid in David Alaba. Let's put him right in the team instead of Aspilicueta. And wow, that, 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 oh, that team looks good. Hazard scored a world-class team where he's literally going to be the superstar. So, yeah, I'm, I've got big expectations. He's He's got 8 million on the line as well. He needs to score 15 goals. And let this simulation begin. Predictions, guys. What do you all think Hazard's going to do in his first season back at Chelsea? Let's see how this goes. Oh, we've got a Super Cup final against Villarreal. Let's play that. First opportunity for some silverware for Eden Hazard at Chelsea. Let's see what he does against Villarreal. It's a 3-1 win. Eden Hazard didn't score, but he did play the full 120. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to see this become a series, I know we revived Coutinho's career. Now we're doing Hazard. Maybe some other players. Let me know in the comment section. Also, drop a like on the video. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're new around here. And let's get to the end of the season and see what Eden Hazard has managed to achieve. We're at the end of the season, guys. And has Eden Hazard managed to fire Chelsea back to a Premier League title? That's the real question so far signs are looking good top six arsenal in six spurs in ninth liverpool fifth how has that happened chelsea in the top four everton as well manchester united third this is it 
are Chelsea gonna be in the first position as champions of England yes they are Eden Hazard back in the Premier League and look what he's just done 81 points Chelsea win the Premier League it's a shame no FA Cup for Eden Hazard and no Carabao Cup just the Premier League so far oh Mo Salah ended up winning player of the tournament you'd think maybe it would be Eden Hazard but yeah it wasn't goalkeeper of the tournament De Gea so individual awards wise none of them going Chelsea's way Salah wins the golden boot scoring 26 is Eden Hazard in the team of the tournament that's the real question we've got three Chelsea players in there four in fact a whole back lines in there but Eden Hazard isn't was he oh he's there Eden Hazard is in the team of the tournament okay so Hazard finished second in the golden boot rankings 23 goals this season fair enough assist wise we've got Mane Salah winning it was Hazard there Hazard's got seven fair play what about the Champions League did we end up making the final that's the real question Chelsea topped their group and in style brilliant round of 16 knocked out at Leicester go Madrid by a big margin as well got through Juventus you're kidding me to Wolfsburg what how on earth have 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 Chelsea done this how I can't believe this man oh my god unbelievable unfreaking believable wow so it's a Wolfsburg City Champions League final you might as well just gift wrap the the, the trophy for City. How did we get knocked out to Wolfsburg? That's such a bummer. Anyways, um, Eden Hazard managed to go up by one in his overall. One mistake I think I made was not putting development plans on him. We'll do that next season, boys. We will do that next season. But he's gone up to a 92 overall. Stats-wise, oh my god, a 40-goal contribution season. 30 goals and 10 assists. I'm kind of unsure whether next season we should be here or not. We'll see, but Premier League has been secured in Hazard's first season back. Quick look at the stats of Hazard at Chelsea. 30 goals, 10 assists. I'm still unsure whether we want to stay at Chelsea for the next season. We'll decide. You know what, guys? I thought about leaving in this window with Hazard, but you know what? Let's stay for another season at Chelsea and try and win that Champions League. First thing I'm going to do, though, is, is chuck a development plan on Eden Hazard. I feel like that's going to be vital. Um, Inverted winger is always the best one to put, so we'll do that. Now, that's the team. One thing you'd realize, Sky Havertz and Mason Mount probably don't get too much game time because of their position. So I'm thinking I'll convert, let's say, Mason Mount to a right winger. Will that take a couple of weeks or something? 11 weeks we'll do that and i think we should do that for kai havertz as well that way at least they'll get some game time man because i think that's what's actually we'll keep ha havertz as a cam and mount as a right wing i want to see which of them gets more game time anyways we've got one signing to make and with thiago silva dipping a fair bit in his overall i'm thinking we gotta bring in basically his real life regen 176 million so we can certainly afford whoever we want but i want to go for marquinhos he's literally the real life regen of of course thiago silva he's 28 in his prime 89 rated a leader that'd be a signing we can only make one signing remember and i want it to be marquinhos all right so let's see 122 million will be our first offer it's a big one. They want Mason Mount. Okay, I don't want to give them Mason Mount, but we'll give them a bit more money. We'll give them 130 then. 130 million straight up for Marquinhos. They literally want all our money. That's Poch. Come on. You can't be negotiating like that, man. We'll give you all 160 then. They want 189. Oh my. Oh, okay. 170 is going to be the counter offer we go for. And that they're gonna think about it you're joking man you're, you're literally joking all right let's see and the transfer offer is unacceptable but they'll be willing to accept 175.8 you know what that works that actually works let's negotiate and get it get this done you would have also seen rudiger as one of the signings i made his contract just expired and i just signed him back on so yeah there's that anyways um marquinhos now We'll give him a crucial squad role. Three-year deal. Perfect. Works for me. No release clause as well. Wage-wise, um, we'll just give him the same thing he's earning. And of course, PSG with... Oh, we've got to improve that signing bonus. Otherwise, he will reject the offer. There you go. That's what we'll give. Marquinhos accepts. We've got our centre-back as well now. Perfect. All right. So I guess this is where we'll be putting Marquinhos. There you go. Now, this is a team. This is a team. Let's go, man. Let's go. 
We're now going to sim until the end of the season. I want to win that Champions League with Chelsea now. If we don't do it this season, I'm moving elsewhere with Hazard. So let's get it now. Hey, let's go. We get the Player of the Year award for Eden Hazard. We've basically got him winning the Ballon d'Or. Why did the graphic not show up? Huh, that's, that's honestly annoying. But oh well. Eden Hazard, 92 rated, age 28. We kind of had to rewind the clock to make this happen. But we've managed to get him a Ballon d'Or. I was just checking if Eden Hazard managed to win the Ballon d'Or, but it goes to Kylian Mbappe. Maybe the next few seasons we'll get to win that award. I guess we'll have to move away from Chelsea to achieve that. This is one time I want to keep taps on. Well, 4-1 to Real Madrid. That's it. I think we're out of the Champions League. Wow. 4-2 we managed to win in the second leg, but it's not enough. We're out of the Champions League and it's Real Madrid that inflict the damage. Still got an FA Cup final to try and win. Chelsea versus Leicester City. Let's see. Another trophy on board. Can we do it? It's the FA Cup final. Can Hazard score? Can't believe it. Chelsea have lost. No Premier League title as well this season. Third in the Prem. 72 points. Spurs. Freaking Spurs end up winning a trophy. This season has been a bit of a write-off. I'm not gonna lie. Spurs beat us in the Community Shield final as well. Pretty sure we didn't win the Carabao Cup. Champions League. Humiliation at the hands of Real Madrid. And I think next season, one of these two clubs is where we should be heading. I'm thinking, why not Bayern Munich? On a personal level, Hazard keeps going up in his overall, up to a 93 rating. That's brilliant. Stats-wise, oh, he keeps performing. He keeps delivering. 31 goals and 11 assists this season. A little bit better than the last one. Stats on Hazard are still looking a bit, uh, couple of seasons. 61 goals and 21 assists is not too bad, but... It's the trophy count that's kind of been disappointing. Maybe this is as far as we can go with Chelsea. We need to move. All right, so what if Eden Hazard, instead of going from Chelsea to Madrid, went to Bayern Munich? That's what we're going to see now. We're going to try and bring him to Bayern. And look at this team. In this machine of a team, Eden Hazard is bound to succeed and win the Champions League. So that's what we're going to try. We might need to sacrifice someone. And I'm thinking that someone might be like Kingsley Coman. We might you have to use him in a swap deal to bring Hazard here. Let's see, though. We've got about 140 million. That's not going to be enough to sign Eden Hazard in my opinion. So let's see how much Hazard's worth in season three. He's worth 192 million, the monster that we've created with 99 dribbling. Oh boy. Oh boy. The sign him is going to be just virtually impossible. We'll need to get rid of Kingsley Coman or Leroy Sane in a swap deal to even make this happen, man. It's it's going to be a bit wild. Let's see if we can even pull this off. Okay, so I'm going to put Kingsley Coman in a swap deal here. He's worth 85, so we can pay maybe 110 million plus Coman. And let's see what Chelsea say. This, this is their demands. How do we even pull this off? I'm going down to 146 million. Like, we're basically running out of funds here. This is unreal. Wow. Okay, like, I, I can't even afford him. How do we bring him to Bayern Munich, man? Like, honestly, you know what, guys? I'll need to sell a few players to make this happen. Who can we sell from this squad, guys? Like, who can we sell? Maybe Gabriel Paulista? Maybe him. We'll definitely sell Coman, but we need to get to it quickly. Look at that, boys. We sold Pavard. We sold Paulista. We're about to sell Kingsley Coman for 130 million. Surely with that, it's enough to sign Eden Hazard. 315 million in the bank. Wage budget looking a bit insane as well. Yeah, I think we have what it takes to sign Hazard now. All right, round two of trying to sign Eden Hazard to Bayern Munich begins now. Can we pull this off? Let's go. All right, gonna do 200 million to start things off with. Let's see what Chelsea say. They want 341. Okay. You know what? Can we get this down slightly? I might just accept it if they counter me. We'll, we'll, we'll do 300. You know what? Take it. 340 million. We're big breaking the transfer record of all time. 222 million. It's still the record that Neymar holds. We've broken that completely. 340. 41 million right now on rail. Eden Hazard at Bayern Munich. If he can stay fit here, you never know, man. You never know. That Ballon d'Or we're trying to hunt with Hazard might be his. The wages are certainly going to be nuts for Eden Hazard. That's what we're offering him. He accepts it. We've got him. 
at Bayern. There you go, Hazard in the team. That's going to be our lineup for this season at Bayern. Let's see what Hazard can do. By the way, we've got the Real Madrid PSG game later on tonight, I think. And I think this we've timed this video perfectly, man, because I don't know if Hazard's going to play that game or not. But yeah, it could be a chance for him to revive his career in real life as well. Guys, the Bundesliga is literally a one-horse race. This is a bit embarrassing. We win the league. That's another league title for Hazard. 81 points, but... 14 points the gap. Just unbelievable. Also, what are your predictions? PSG Madrid, who do you think is going through? My bets in PSG. Who would have thought? Not me. I just feel like the firepower they've got is unreal. Oh, this is it. This is it. Are we going to see Eden Hazard win player of the year? Basically, the Ballon d'Or. That's what I'm excited about, man. That is what I'm excited about. The, the, the results should be out now. And let's see whether he's won it. It's not out yet. Oh, we're going to have to wait. <laughs> player of the year has been announced. It's killing him, boss. Mbappe again? Yo, man. What? When are you going to give this to Hazard? Oh, Mbappe is 95 rated, of course. Of course. He's winning the Ballon d'Or for the rest of this video, I guess. Unreal. Okay, how have we managed to lose a one-horse race? I can't believe this. We've lost the Bundesliga. Unbelievable. How did this even happen? Wow. Unreal. I am I'm surprised. I am absolutely surprised at this. Champions League. Let's see what happened here. We're not in the final. I know that already ready. We topped our group. We got through Monaco. We got through Chelsea. That's nice. But PSG knocked us out. My god. Wow. Hazard's just got no luck even in this. But look at that. Eden Hazard, top scorer in the Bundesliga at least. 34 matches, 17 goals, 9 assists. Played at the tournament. Goes to Richarlison. Ah, uh, is he in the team of the tournament though? Eden Hazard, he is in the team of the tournament. Eden Hazard managed to score 24 goals and 15 assists this season. Not too bad. But guys, we're going to do another season in Bayern because I want to see better stats and, and bigger trophies. You can't fault Hazard stats on an individual level. 85 goals, 36 assists in three seasons, but only a Premier League to show for. We need that Champions League. I look at this team and it's kind of obvious what we need to improve. Hazard needs a bit of help up top and I don't think Lewandowski is quite cutting it. Let's just bring in an unbelievable striker to Bayern and that should help us maybe win the Champions League this season. Guys, I've got an idea for the striker position. Erling Haaland. Just like Lewandowski, we could bring Haaland from Dortmund to, of course, Bayern Munich. But can we even afford this? I don't know. I really don't know. We've got two 98 million we might need to offer like Lewandowski or someone in a swap deal I might just offer Lewandowski in the swap deal he's worth 95 million so plus 150 that's what we'll do Lewandowski back to Borussia Dortmund ah oh, they're willing to do it but we need to bring that price down we really need to bring that price down to 300 at least and that works I can't believe we're doing this the question is would we have enough to negotiate a contract with of course Erling Haaland can we pull this off. There you go, it's done. We've just signed Holland in season four of this challenge. Hazard wanted help. We've got him the best possible help here with Erling Haaland up top alongside him. Wow, that's going to be unreal now. So that's going to be our team. We better win the Champions League this season, man. Honestly, let's go. This time it's Phil Foden. Phil Foden has won the Ballon d'Or. He's 90 rated. Yo, City must be doing incredibly well. Hazard can't catch a break here. He's not winning this. I still can't believe this. We, we failed to win the Bundesliga again. What? Honestly, what? Leverkusen win it by like... Like 10 points, 9 points, but how? Oh, we're losing a one-horse race here with the team we've got. Unreal. Honestly, we didn't even win the cup. The Champions League is going to be our only saving grace, I guess. Let's see. We're top of the group. And then in the round of 16, we managed to knock out Manchester United. That's a good sign. Then we knocked out Chelsea on pens. Semi-finals, we knocked out PSG. Okay, now we're in the final against Monaco. Hazard gets his chance to win the Champions League. What are Eden Hazard's stats? That's looking like this season. Ooh, he's kind of dipped in terms of stats, eh? 17 goals and 9 assists this season. Probably his worst season on paper, but it's the season where he can win the Champions League. All right, here we go. Champions League final against Monaco. This is the best chance for Hazard to get that Champions League trophy. Don't know how Monaco got here. I swear if they end up losing this. Oh, they don't. They don't. It's Bayern Munich 1, Monaco 0. Hazard gets that Champions League trophy. I think with that, our job at Bayern is done for the final season. I think we're going to do something interesting with Hazard.
For the final season, let's do something interesting. I'm going to transfer list Eden Hazard, the first club to come in with an offer. That's where we put Hazard for the final season. I'm very curious to see the first club. There you go. It's, it's Arsenal. Are you kidding me? Well, we're going back to London, but I'm not sure if Chelsea fans are going to enjoy this. I can't believe we're doing this. Eden Hazard is playing in red in an Arsenal shirt. Oh boy. But honestly, this Arsenal team isn't all too bad, guys. I think if we put our boy Eden Hazard over here. Well, we're looking at a very strong team. Isaac, Erdegaard, Gwendouzi, and D it's a strong team, guys. Honestly, that's what we'll rock for the season with Arsenal. One season to just see what we can do with maybe a, a club that's not expected to win everything. Let's go, man. Let's go through this season and see what happens. This is also maybe Hazard's last chance to win the Ballon d'Or in this video, so let's see. Killing Mbappe again wins Ballon d'Or. That's number three for him man. Honestly, unreal. One thing I didn't realize, because Arsenal are so bad, they're in the Europa League and not the Champions League this season. And well, we're not in the Europa League anymore. Joining Arsenal was an L. Uh, yeah, it was. It was a big L. You know what? We put up a valiant effort in the Premier League. So close to winning the title. Fair enough. If Hazard would have done that with Arsenal, would have just been unreal. But just a point, Man City managed to win this uh, by. So fair play, Hazard. That was a valiant effort. As we saw in the Europa League, look at Barcelona basically become a Europa League club here. We got knocked out in the quarters. We didn't win any of the cup competitions, if I'm not wrong. So there's that. But Eden Hazard back in the Premier League. Solid season, 27 goals and 9 assists. And that's how we wrap up the revival of Hazard. I think we did a good job with that. 94 overall. We've managed to get him to, although we did start at 91, which was his overall back when he was at Chelsea in FIFA 19. But I think we've done a good job winning the Premier League, um, the Champions League. But we could have done better. We could have maybe won a Ballon d'Or. Final look at the stats before we wrap up this revival challenge with Hazard. 129 goals, 54 assists. I think we did a good job. Let me know which player we should give the revival treatment next. Drop a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you're around here. And I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.